name's Kylie Bradford. I'm a proud Morrumbul woman from Kakadu National Park. Growing up in Kakadu, we live and breathe um, native ingredients. I mean, we're constantly foraging. Kakadu Organics um, started uh, about 10 years ago. We have our beautiful products, as you can see here. So we've got native oils done with a macadamia base. We've got beautiful condiments like Kwandon and mango chutneys, and then our incredible tea range. Everything we do is ethically sourced. We use plant-based dyes, um, biodegradable packaging. First Nations traders are our first exporters, with history exchanging goods, knowledge and technology. First Nations businesses make a, such a significant contribution to local communities back on country, but also the broader Australian economy. We started exporting um, because we had really nailed the Australian market. We were really interested in uh, Singapore to start with and also the UK market. The first step we took towards exporting was to contact Austrade. We wanted to understand the market that we were entering and who's knowledgeable there. And then they introduced us to anyone and everyone we needed to know within Australia um, to start the process. Our trade services are combined around three pillars of advice, connection and support. For example, we could help you with your export strategies, make valuable connections and also provide hands-on practical support to facilitate your exports. In 2023, nine businesses travelled to Singapore to showcase First Nations entrepreneurship and talent. Our first export deal with Ryan's Grocers was because of our trip to Singapore with Austrade. Having a lot of native ingredients in our products, we needed to understand that they were legally able to be sold in these countries. We had to redesign some, some of our goods and some of our products to be able to legally enter that market. Our next adventure for Kakadu Organics is entering the UK market. Austrade's Go Global Toolkit is an online resource for not only new exporters, but also exporters looking to expand into multiple markets. This is a great online resource that you can leverage to get an understanding of your export readiness, but also the different markets where your products may be able to succeed. Knowing that lemon myrtle is um, legally allowed into the UK, that's our entry point. So we've actually customised some of our products to be able to enter that market. If you're an Australian business that is export curious, what a wonderful journey you're about to embark on. My key piece of advice would be that no one's export journey is the same and it takes time.